Hi, you're watching the news with me. I'm Dipavli Hazra. These are the headlines at the top of three. The Supreme Court has instructed all stakeholders in the Ayodhya title dispute case that they must complete their arguments by October the 18th, failing which they will not get one extra day. CJI Ranjan Gogoi, who is heading the five-judge bench, said that the bench will have only four weeks to write and deliver the judgment in the case once arguments conclude on October 18th. The BJP is conducting a massive protest outside the residence of Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal for his dig at BJP MP Manoj Tiwari. Kejriwal had on Wednesday said Tiwari would have to leave Delhi if the National Register of Citizens was implemented here. The BJP perceived it as an insult to people from the Hindi belt. External Affairs Minister S.J. Shankar said that Kashmir was in a mess before August 5th when the centre decided to remove Article 370 that gave special status. At an event in New York, Jay Shankar said that Article 370 was abrogated to deal better with the Kashmir situation and prevent the loss of lives there. He added that many restrictions have now been lifted and Kashmir is now stabilizing. Pakistan approached the United Nations Security Council to seek permission for global designated terrorist Hafiz Saeed to withdraw money from his frozen personal bank account. Saeed needs Rs 1,50,000 for basic expenses to help his family. The UN committee permitted the request upon not receiving any objection against the appeal. According to a report, the father of the law student who accuses Chinmayanand of rape has said that his daughter was arrested only to build pressure on them to drop the case. The SIT yesterday arrested the woman, charging her with extortion. The victim's father says that there is no evidence against the woman. The investigation officer leading the probe into the alleged corruption case against former CBI Special Director Rakesh Asthana has sought voluntary retirement from services. The timing of Superintendent of Police Satish Dagar's request has raised eyebrows as it comes after the High Court had ordered the CBI to wrap a probe in the case within four months on May the 31st. Prime Minister of Antigua and Barbuda said that fugitive billionaire Mehul Choksi is a crook and will be extradited back to India after he exhausts all his appeals. The diamond trader has taken citizenship in these Caribbean islands as he is wanted back in India for corruption and fraud. Antigua is one among the many tax havens in the Caribbean and has no extradition treaty with India. At least 13 people have died in Pune in floods caused by heavy rains. Two NDRF teams have been deployed in Pune and two in Baramati, while another is expected to reach Baramati soon. Schools and colleges will remain shut in five tehsils of Pune today. The Maharashtra Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis said that the state government is providing all possible assistance. That's all for now. Stay tuned for more.